Hey guys, welcome to our review of 65 with Adam Driver, this sort of sci-fi survival film that obviously is referencing 65 million years ago. So you got Adam Driver, and you got fucking dinosaurs. And when I saw this trailer, I was really excited. I was like, wow, this is going to be cool. He's got a little sci-fi gun. Yeah, I thought it was going to be cool. Sure, he's going to run out of ammo at some point. He's going to have to find a way to uh, deal with these dinosaurs while protecting uh, this little girl that we've seen in the trailers. Uh, well, we watched it to see if it might be something y'all might be interested in. And unfortunately, I came out of the theater. First thing I said was, well, that was disappointing. And that's, uh, that's my critic side. It's also my audience side, honestly, my my uh, because I just felt like there was, uh, you know, you could call this movie 65 million <laughs> plot contrivances, in my opinion. Um, I'm sure you could actually get a, a counter and get 65, you know, not million, but 65 real ones. I just roll my eyes every single time one of these plot contrivances happens because it takes me out of the story. Um, and I was kind of surprised, uh, aside from a few good moments with some, some dinosaurs here and there, um, it was honestly boring at times. And, uh, I'd say the best part of the film is Adam Driver. Adam Driver seems like he's taking it seriously. It's just, and putting in a good performance, it's just the material that he was given, uh, the writing, and the, the way the plot unfolds, and all the di different things that they have to do in order to uh, complete their, their quest here, um, is not up to his level, in my opinion. Uh, this was directed by two different, two directors. Maybe that was the problem? I don't know. <laughs> Scott Beck and Brian Woods, apparently. So, Unfortunately, I think this is disappointing, and this honestly feels like a made-for-Netflix movie, right? Yeah. Uh, and honestly, an average one at that. Maybe slightly below average in parts and slightly above average in other parts. But uh, mostly, this is one that I think you can skip. Uh, I would rather you go out and see Creed 3 if you haven't seen that. You know, I would spend my money there. What about you guys? Tell me what you thought of it. Um, I've seen this before. After Earth, I don't know if you remember that. After, uh, Earth. after Earth, holy shit! They're on a flight. They get hit by asteroids. They crash land on Earth. They oh, this survive. story has been told a it ton has. of times. And I thought, since this That's has hilarious. been has since this has been told so many times, yeah, what can we improve on that? Right. But they did it. They didn't do any improvements. Man, it's still right. same thing. It's average. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of good. Uh, scenes honestly there's one that i liked yeah only because i'm afraid of that <laughs> well you have to tell us in the spoilers i don't right? think it's too much of a spoiler all right go ahead don't watch this movie just just watch yeah, our spoilers it's... save your money i hate going but in we'll, the... we'll still have a spoiler section i hate going in like caves and going in the, like that little tunnel yes the little girl, like, is squeezing. Joe is scared She's of squeezing tight by it. i was like adam you're not gonna make it man you that's, can't do that's it a little girl you're a big man <laughs> exactly. you see how big that man's chest that's is funny that that is the best part of the film it for is. you i felt uh, again another plot contrivance right there at that moment and it's, it's funny stupid. that that's your favorite when like there's all these dinosaurs but honestly but the cgi is not really all that convincing it wasn't. It wasn't. and the creatures themselves don't really feel they, they don't really look like dinosaurs to me they look like alien versions of dinosaurs that are slightly off you know obviously you know if you want to be, get super accurate you know yeah uh, I, I dinosaurs would have yeah. feathers and shit like that but you know it, it doesn't even look like our vision of what dinosaurs would normally look like mm -hmm. yeah i just wish they would have improved on like this story that's been told so many times which they didn't and then like i honestly didn't feel that much of a threat mm -hmm. was going on yeah, and me neither. The, the emotion be, the, i guess the chemistry between both of them He's supposed to be like kind of his daughter protecting her. It wasn't really it's not, it did, or that, anything. That uh, didn't resonate yeah, as yeah, well yeah. as it should have. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if it's because these two actors don't really have much rapport with each other. I, I just really didn't buy that, you know, somebody from an advanced planet really cannot understand a single thing that the other person says just because, I don't know, they live a few miles away. He's trans. Here. The translator's, translator's broken. broken uh, uh, well, I guess maybe they're star-faring race, so uh, we'll, we'll get to that in, in, mm -hmm. in spoilers. Yeah, for me, I would, it was a dud. A dud, yeah. A dud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think this is... What this, about you, Alex? I don't think this is a good movie at all. I mean, I was expecting a sci-fi movie, and the problem is they tell you everything that's going to happen in the movie in the first 30 seconds of the movie. They, there's, no, there's no mystery here. I thought it was going to be like, where does he land? How does he figure all this yeah. stuff out? They figure it out immediately. Yeah. And so the science, fi- science fiction portion of the movie ends right away. Yeah. And then it becomes him using all these space-age doodads... Um, to stupid try to like dudettes it's stupid dude it's but it, it feels more like an episode of or a bunch of episodes of like Gilligan's Island where something just <laughs> happens to go wrong but it's also good this is could be this could be a really good bad OJ movie if it like didn't have Adam Driver and they made it like kind of crazier and wackier yeah. but so it's not bad enough to be uh, like yeah, fun bad. bad. Yeah. I've seen worse films, it's but it's definitely not, not very not good. good. And I don't think you should watch it. it I, I think, think it you failed. Spend your money on it. I think if you want to watch it on VOD, Just wait, for it. wait yeah. for it to be yeah. on Netflix or free. But on um, man, it sucks because it's such a cool idea. I got hyped, you know. God eyes into archaeology and actually getting the bones. And she sends us. Eye. This is our <laughs> the, our community here at the AJSA. Come ha- hang out with us and watch us on stream. Uh, Twitch TV backslash Angry Joe Show. But we got people, you know. Uh, that like historical stuff and things like that. She literally that. digs is, up dinosaurs. Yeah, and this is. She's gonna hate it. She's gonna hate it. It's <laughs> not entertaining. I got hyped up, and I was hoping for a fucking dinosaur uh, on, on Adam Driver action uh, and Adam Driver being a great performance. And you kind of get uh, you get Adam Driver being you know good you get performance. Like a glimpse, but nothing. But really but nothing is. here. Nothing that you haven't seen before, yeah. and it, and you've all seen it before. Done way better. And there's just so many stupid things that happens, uh, plot contrivances uh, that really drive me crazy and uh, drive me away from this. And we can talk about them in the spoilers. Um, but you know, you know when so just when something is just doesn't feel genuine, just feels forced into the plot in order to keep, get things going. That's how I feel with in the order girl. to do the next. I just felt thing. like she just like. Put in there mm-hmm. last minute just right. to the, move it. The film opens with, you know, Adam Driver's character uh, having to go on this two-year uh, journey uh, through space in order to help his daughter who has a terminal disease. And so they tie that emotional thing in. And while I think that actually the opening of it was kind of well done, I was like, okay, I, you know, just mainly due to the acting here and the condensed time that they had to make you care about Adam's character and maybe getting back to his daughter and things like that, that somewhat worked. Um, once the asteroid field comes along uh, that will maroon him on this planet, it's like, are you telling me these advanced fucking ships have no way to detect any goddamn fucking things in the way of their fucking ship more than 10, more than 10 seconds ahead of it time? It always detects it when so it's too stupid. late. It's and, always when it's too late. And there's, late. there's other ways to do these things. You could have just, I don't know, fucking shown... That there was a, a malfunction on the ship before it launched or a, the bolt comes loose. Just something that, like, you can't just be like, well, why isn't there a system that did that? <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, and so it's just plot contrivance, the movie, which ruins it. And then all the impactful scenes don't really hit like they should. They're, they don't hit hard. And then your dinosaur action is really not all that great. So it's it's not fucking cool enough to compete with Jurassic Park. Of course, this film has a T Rex in it, and then and they do the thing where it's like, okay, we you know you gotta you gotta do the T Rex scene, right? And it's like oh, by then you're already kind of uh, tired of it, but um, you know, and you get a little bit of fun out of it, but just not uh, you know. Uh, Go into the theaters and and spending your money on this rather than waiting until it's out on VOD. Yeah. Um, So I think that's basically it. Unfortunately, Uh, we can get into the nitty gritty of it, but I think we basically covered it, which was what, you know, good performances. Uh, Or one good performance. One. Because I I wouldn't say the other, the little girls, not much there. She didn't really much talk. You know, she's just there. Yeah. That's about it, unfortunately. Yeah, kind of weak CGI. And then, like I said, uh, let me let me define this for you. So, um, Plot contrivance. A, a contrived plot is one where the events unfold in a way that simply does not make sense or seems forced. Um, plot contrivances are the flip side of cardboard characters, so basically cardboard plots. And that's what this... In fact, this actually has cardboard characters, too. Uh, there's really not much... 
uh, to each of these characters. Uh, Adam goes through a small arc, but that's it's not that compelling. So let's go to final verdicts for 65. Uh, for me, it's going to be a three. Uh, I was honestly holy pretty, shit. I was bored. <laughs> that is I, garbage. I, I, was I didn't really think you'd be that low. All I right. was thinking between a, a f- three and a four. Uh-huh. But uh, honestly, like m- the best part was for me was the cave part. Mm-hmm. It, there was no tension. Like I- if he had no gun, it's like he had to make some weapons, do something, make it more like tension cool. filled. Thank you, but Joe. But instead, he's just like. Grenade, you're dead. And then with his badass gun killing everything. Sci-fi gun, you're dead. Yeah, you're killing everything. Like, it loses the tension. Yeah. Did you like, notice okay, the well. sci-fi gun has fucking ammunition displayed on the side? Yes. Then randomly, there's no ammunition displayed on the side. And I guess, like, the prop turned off. Because I'm trying to it's monitor this because be I think it's going to be a filled. part of the plot. And it's really yeah. not. Until the very, very end. Yes. Yes. And it's like by then, your eyes have rolled so hard so many times exactly. that you're like, just shut up. So I was just oh, shut up. The gun the at the time. end? Yeah. I think the gun at the end is supposed to, supposed to be a different gun because I think he lost no. the first no, gun in the quicksand. I think it's the same It's one. the same gun, Alex. I, of course you would think that because if it's done so fucking poorly. Because he only has one. Right, he yeah, only has one. He yeah. took one and that's the, the other half of the ship is where he ends up. At the but you're right, Joe. Wha- the, what an amazing uh, thing. Yeah. Why wasn't he like crafting things? Mm-hmm. And doing that would have made, just... made it more tense. It's like, yeah. holy shit, I have no weapons. Mm-hmm. There's danger out there and we have to go all the way to the mountain. Yeah. What, the, what are we going to do? There was a randomly crafted weapon in the middle of nowhere that the girl finds, which we need to talk about in the uh, thing. Oh, a tooth? Yeah, it was so stupid. Look, I, it looked like a trap, but I guess it was just a dinosaur gnawing on a log. Yeah, and like I said, like Broke I was bored off. throughout the whole thing. Yep. Yeah, it was just like two hours of not a lot. Just walking around, trying to find some stuff. Bummer. Certain things happened. Didn't really get me excited. I was bored. You wouldn't recommend it. No. I was bored. Alex. I don't think I hated it as much, but close. I was struggling between a four or five, but I, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think that this is something that you want to watch. I think it's below average. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a bunch of, it's a series of almost unrelated disasters and scenes that just don't, they don't feel like they flow together super well. He's supposed to get from point A to point B. Yeah, it and it just happened. like it, it, it almost feels like they wanted to make a TV show and like they wrote episodes out and they're like, fuck it, let's make it a movie. And they kind of crammed everything together, but it just doesn't flow in the way that I want. I don't think that the, the little girl and Adam had great chemistry. So like, I mean, him being hurt and like grunting a bunch like that, that was a good performance, but that's not something I, want, I should want to go see a movie for. Yeah. Uh, it's just a giant pile of wasted potential. And it's sad because like, I, I love the premise. I, this could have worked in a huge variety of ways. You put us in a room, a couple more of these and we can write a better movie in half an hour. Yeah. It does not take very long. And so it's just, I don't know what the fuck they were going for. Uh, and I don't think they, they, they found it. Exactly. Yeah, uh, so I, I also, in between a five and a four, uh, you know, I would say it's average, but when you Does consider, hold on, when you consider the talent here, you got Adam Driver, then you consider the, the concept, you know, sci-fi, stranded, you got some sci-fi guns, you got some dinosaurs, and, you know, doing that, that is a huge letdown. So that's what brings it down to slightly below average for me, because you kind of wasted that potential. Um, there are so many plot contrivances. Those channels that do ping, ping, you know, and they count all the dumb things. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's going to get pretty high here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go with a four out of ten. So, so three is actually not all that, that out of realm. So, anyways, guys, unfortunately, 65 is a dub. That means you can save your money and wait for it to come out later and uh, go watch something else. Uh, one thing we we didn't we didn't see we didn't see Scream. I don't know if that's any good, but I do know Creed. I would much rather you spend your money on Creed. You'll yeah. get a lot more out of it than you will this one. So stick around, and we'll talk about some of those stupid plot contrivances if we can even remember this fucking forgettable movie. Okay, all right. Uh, and for those of you who don't want to waste your money, let's go talk some shit. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section. So, um, how should we break this down? Uh, there's only four characters. You got Adam, you got uh, his wife, uh, you got his daughter, and then you got this survivor girl who is the only Cal- pod Cal- of Cal- 11 pods 
uh, Koa, Koa. Uh, <laughs> that, that survives. Um, so his daughter is uh, sick, and he needs money to help her. So he goes on a two-year uh, trucking, space trucking thing. They tripled his salary. And it tripled it. They've conquered space, but not <laughs> health care. Right. So. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it, he has to go away for two straight years. His daughter is uh, terminal, needs a lot of care. Um, they're a spacefaring uh, group of people 65 million years ago, and it's like the believability is just like, no, you can travel from where to where, and you're just, no, fuck you. This is dumb. And then so he goes from there, he goes on this mission, and then there's asteroids, and it was under, and they didn't know about asteroids. They didn't know about... What? Asteroids in space? The computer that's, Detection systems? Yeah, that, that's looking forward in space. I mean, motherfucking... You know, doesn't look <laughs> at it. Commercial airlines can detect things. Fucking, we have fucking thing called radar. We have, like, anything. The, the modern technology can detect what happened But they didn't have that sooner. 65 million, million years ago because they don't... And so, uh, so they get surprised by an asteroid field. Yeah, and then he crashes into Earth. So the asteroid field punctures the ship, uh, and here the entire film, this ship it must be made of goddamn titanium or something, uh, so fucking strong because it's just constantly uh, beaten and knocked around throughout the film. The 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 escape shuttle. It's like, dude. Any number of the things that the escape happened to the escape shuttle would make it non-viable to launch. So, but of course, he doesn't have to do anything. All he has to do is orient the shuttle. But Joe, it, it said on the computer screen that it was entering repair mode. Oh, I fucking heard that. I was wondering. But and, Joe, I was like, wait, did I just hear that? Self repair mode. It's like, what? If that is not the weakest writing plot contrivance ever, it's self-repairing, <laughs> what is it, little nanobots that are going, G -g 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 or what? The ship fucking breaks in half. All the pods fall out. And his, he's in one half, the pilot half, another half lands on a mountain. That's where the escape shuttle is. And uh, that's the movie. Like, he figures that out almost instantly after, you know, coming out of uh, the the ship. The first, he's got his uh, space suit on. He doesn't dumbly fucking take his helmet off immediately like they would an alien in Prometheus. But, uh, you know, there's something in the water, and that is never shown or explained. <laughs> it's just trying to show that yeah, place is like, dangerous. Oh, cool. Something's gonna oh happen. fuck, you're going to grab him right away, What's and he's going to run out of ammo instantly, and he's going to have to figure this shit out? No. That, that doesn't fuck he with him He has ammo until the very last minute of <laughs> the movie. He's got three rounds left, and then the very last end where he already m destroys two T-Rexes with his gun, which all he really needed was motivation to see his daughter to fire the gun. <sighs> okay, so when he first crash lands on the planet, I liked this mm -hmm. because, you know, he's shown to be hurt. He's like, and, and you, get to, you get the feeling like, fuck. I'm literally the only survivor. Yeah. He's recording a distress signal, and then he's like, deletes it, and he looks at his gun. And this, I believe, this is, I think, something that you would go through. You would consider, is this worth it? God knows how many fucking light years away I'm away from anybody. My fucking comms are out. Like, all this shit is broken, so I might as well just shoot myself. And that's what he was doing. But then, you know, he remembers his daughter, and that gives him the motivation needed to go on. Um, and I guess his comms aren't out. He just need he sends the distress signal, and or first he's looking for the escape shuttle. Um, and before then he finds that one of the pods has survived, and so he goes over there, and uh, it's this little girl, uh, who doesn't speak his language, and he, you know, eventually uh, protects, brings back to his half of the ship. Um, through her exploring his half of the ship, they realize that his daughter, who you think that, oh, he just needs to complete this mission, go back home, his daughter's fine, and uh, he got the money for it. No. As he was on this mission, his daughter would get worse and worse and would send her, him video calls where, unfortunately, she passes away. So you have that, that, that sad bit, and this is where, I don't know, this new girl can be his re daughter replacement. <laughs> so <laughs> what the right movie now. is doing. That's yeah. what the movie's doing, and that's the whole movie. Joel did it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's doing done, done, great. Done, yeah. done way lower, worse yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Done way <laughs> worse here. Um, yeah. And then, uh, you know, and then just the various plot contrivances, uh, you know, it just gets annoying. Uh, at one point, 
he gives her uh, the grenades. So there are these little grenades. Uh, they cut away when they are first attacked. He spends most of his ammunition. After they gather their stuff, they know exactly where to go because he's using the stupid binocular things. It's like oversized and, and does nothing. But he, he finds his ship, and they're like, all right, we got to make this trek way across. And then she's looking at some berries, wants to eat the berries. Like, no, don't eat your berries. He puts the berries in the little fucking... It's like bad. And, and it's bad for your stomach. It goes, your stomach. Gets the one laugh that the, the movie had. Don't eat berries. And don't eat, she says. And so then the, they're walking. And the first time they're attacked is by uh, some dinosaurs I'm not really familiar with. And, you know, you, you don't use the raptors. You don't use the popular ones. Actually, there some the raptors. first thing yeah, they do the is a, 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 a little cute dinosaur, baby dinosaur, is trapped in little some goop. And she wants to help it. And so she, he's like, no, God damn it. And she's over there helping it. And uh, so he goes to help, too. And it's a cool moment. And I'm like, oh, my God, what are they going to fucking do with this? Is the baby is going to be the mom is going to help them out later with the T-Rex or something <laughs> cartoony like that. Uh, but no, the baby is walking and instantly it gets killed by the little tiny dinosaurs. Forget what those ones were called. You know, the ones from Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. They fucking scavenged you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he tries to make a point like, this is dangerous. You need to listen to me. And let's go. It was emotionally. It was cheap because they say this like this d baby dinosaur has giant Disney eyes. And it's like, yeah. I'm so cute. And it's walking yeah. in there. And it gets torn <laughs> in half. And you're like, what the, is this what this, this is movie probably. is? And it's like, this is when they show me. This is exactly what this movie is going to be. Yep. Uh, so that sets the tone is as they fur walk deeper into the forest, they are attacked by, I don't know, 25 <laughs> fucking <laughs> Uh, predators at mm -hmm. once, which is like, Jesus Christ, and they're really hunting packs like that, I guess. He uses his guns. Guns very powerful. One one shot kill on a lot of these uh, these these things, but there are so many of them, he has to use these little marble grenades. You touch them, and they go red, and you throw them, and it cuts away. So I, what I thought it was, I was like, in this situation, with that many fast dinosaurs, motherfucker is dead. I don't care how, mu how much ammunition he has. But why I bought it is because they cut away. So I thought those balls were actually like bigger, when they when they blew explosions. up number one, number one, bigger explosions or number two. I don't know, a fucking time slow effect or something to hold them because you hear in the background, he's able to go boom, boom, boom. So it sounds like he's taking them out methodically one by one um, after the explosion. But no, they're just tiny grenades. And it's like, OK, well, fine, whatever. We're, this is just the scene to wa get all of his ammo wasted. Then he, he, she runs to the beach, hiding behind a log. You got these fucking pterodactyls coming down. You think the pterodactyls are going to fuck with her, but they're busy fucking with themselves. And then one of the beasts escapes yeah, like from his battle. Yeah, so go ahead. Yeah, two Take of it them over. start, uh, they see her. She starts cr crawling up the log in slow motion. Super slow motion, trying to build it. I was like, a moment ago, you just pounce on someone. Right. But here, you're going super slow. The closer they get, oh, no, tension building. As soon as they get in biting range. You know how many times I they guess, do that in this pop, film? Pop, it's like, it, it's at least four Adam times. Driver shows up and, uh, helps her. Yeah. Yeah. So you have that moment. And then I kept looking at his gun. I'm like, I want to know how much ammunition he has. That. Movie never shows you. Enough. And in fact, Enough. it shows you the LED screen is completely off. It's been on the whole fucking movie for no apparent reason. It's off. They so didn't that, want you to count. They didn't want you to count. <laughs> and they don't even want to look at it. And it's like those moments make me upset because he would have checked his ammunition after a big battle like that. And we have a lot more to go. So it's just, God damn it. Okay, so then what happens after they uh, he rescues her? She's, like, so scared. This was dumb as fuck, too. It's yes. like, look, we need to move. You've seen, and he's like, move, go, you know? We're burning daylight. It's dangerous at night. And the motherfucker, just because she's, and cowers in a corner, he doesn't pick her up and put him on his her back, as he does in five minutes, you know, as he Lay does down. six hours later, <laughs> you know, he you have to go because these things are attacking you and your ammunition is being expended. There's also a timer, which he learns about. Uh, <gasps> yes, the... this, I hate. So we didn't we didn't things. again plot contrivance. I hate these kind so of apparently he crash lands 
right before the big moment of the big asteroid that took out all the dinosaurs. So it turns out that the asteroid that destroyed his ship was gonna, is literally the exact same world-ending asteroid that is going to impact the planet. And so they have the timer that we they need to get to the it's we, like, oh, go. we don't need to do it. God damn. Whatever. Okay, so then... and. Each, on its own, any of these would have been fine. But when you combine 65 million of them, they get fucking tiring. So what what happens next? So, yeah, he lets, literally lets her sit there for four or five hours in the same fetal position, not doing anything. And then at the beginning of the film, they do the stupid, you know, the fucking whistling. Wait. He's trying to teach his daughter how to whistle, and she Just finally figures down. it out later on. Is uh, I don't know, cool, whatever. But she did some more badass. But she know. did a better bit whistle, yeah. and then he's like, like, "Move, okay, now it's now time. Now I'm gonna move. Now that you've wasted all of our fucking daylight, and probably even worse predators with us having worse vision, and no." But they don't even pay that off either, because like I was like, "Okay, now it's nighttime. Shit's about to go down." No, we go into a cave. He nope. starts setting up everything. Those little um, oh yeah, that's what happened. Yep. Sensors. Yeah, proximity sensors. He's like, okay, now it's time to sleep. We go to sleep. Those sensors are a piece of shit. No, he's a piece of shit for putting the sensors so goddamn close. In fact, like he puts sensors like an inch from their feet all around. Why not put sensors in a goddamn? I don't know. Give yourself a hundred feet at least. To know when things are coming is just like that meteor shower. The computer only detects yes. the goddamn meteor shower when so, it. Yeah, they start blinking red. When it's nothing crazy. About to impact. Nothing crazy. It starts yeah. blinking red. It's like, okay, something's coming. And then it starts blinking red a little bit more. It's like, okay, what's coming? It's already too late. Like, we we pan over, we see her foaming from the mouth. Some, you see something slither into yeah. her mouth, it's and our, then she yeah. starts foaming. This is fucking dumb as it's fuck. Like, Number one, you would wake up if something is literally forcibly entering into your mouth. I'm serious. It's fucking wrong. Yeah. Unless that thing, that little creature ex ex excretes some kind of paralyzing agent because it looked like she was paralyzed, you know. Uh, but he and then he does. And then then we go and do some gabba goo boo boo poo poo with his fucking machinery it didn't make any goddamn sense he takes one of the proximity sensors rips it in half and then it turns into a mini explosive device or it turns into a device which lures the uh do you see what the what the fuck was that that is literally the device from Star Trek Picard that like instantly fixes, fixes everything. everything. The sonic screwdriver, yeah. This, it's no, it's worse than the sonic screwdriver. And it's like I don't know what okay, so we're just gonna do that. It was just an excuse to do a gross CGI thing with some coming into this little girl's mouth and him saving her. Yet again at the oh, last minute, oh got it, he found it and he put it and got it. But then there's a hole and the proximity sensor is going crazy, and they think something's going to come out of the hole of the cave. So they're backing up to the waterfall. This is the trailer shot, and then the storm, and you see the fucking T-Rex out there, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. But that's actually not the T-Rex. So this is a different type of bigger creature, which you see towards the end. I thought that was the T-Rex. Nah, he has bigger arms, because oh, this is the one that he one. fires at. So as it's coming through the cave, he fires at it and hits it several times in the face. That fucking thing would be dead. <laughs> but apparently it doesn't die. Well, he kills a T-Rex in one shot at the end of the movie. Exactly. So That's what like, bothers it's me. It's like, what the fuck is going on? He kills these other exactly. creatures in That's one like, hit. There's no fucking tension. That gun is like... Yeah, I yes, have it's a, a gun. BFG. I'm not, but I'm again, not afraid. I'm not mm -hmm. afraid. No, there's not only is there that point, but then there's also the point that the gun is wildly inconsistent. Sometimes it can't kill something in these three, four, five shots, and then another time it'll kill a T-Rex and instantly in one shot. It can't kill this thing, even though you blew its fucking eye out and its whole face off, but destroyed it's not its thin. fucking ankle. <laughs> yeah, no, it's <laughs> stupid. So, but he manages to get it to run away. And then another plot contrivance happens through no fucking reason. This huge opening with this uh, waterfall, we never see it again. You just hear off screen. And you're, you're supposed to believe that they can't just go exit out of that. And they have to go deeper into the cave, which, no, you show it. You show it if it, it didn't, but they don't show it. They're just like, all right, let's go this way now. And he ends up in a dead end. 
and he's doing like a tiny little ice pick to fucking try to enter, and then he gets frustrated, and he just like fuck this, and she's like, no, you gotta do it, and I just I just want to shut up, just shut up. <laughs> and take pay. So I'm so okay. So finally, she gets him to. She's like, fine, you can't do it. I'm gonna do it myself. So she's doing it, and then he realizes, uh, oh, um, I can blow it up. Blow it up because I have grenades. A lot of them. Got a lot of grenades. So he blows it up, and again, another contrivance. You take a, a small grenade, you put it in a hole where you are already chipping, and apparently the grenade perfectly drills out an explosion in this direction only, making a small tunnel uh, enough for a small girl to fit in, but not Adam, well, not comfortably for Adam Driver's character, right? It doesn't explode upward, it doesn't explode downward, it doesn't explode back at them. It get, just makes a nice it's little it's fucking fine. spelunking it's hole. Fine. No. Fucking stupid. They, that, they haven't shown that. Okay, fine. So now they go spelunking in there. Before he does the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen him do, he takes all of his grenades, all of them, and he puts them in the fucking bag. He puts, like, I don't know, seven of them, and he said he gives them to her. And, you know, first, he teaches her how to use it. Turn it on, turn it off. And then she's like, okay. And he gives her the bag. He's like, just in case. So he gives it. It's like, oh, my God. The... the the one thing that would have helped with this, he gives to the girl. So then she goes through it. The place shakes again for no reason. Another block and drive, and and then creates a block between him and her. He's like, no, no. Use a grenade. Use another grenade. Put it in the hole. But then he just realizes he can go out the way he came in with no problem. So I was, yeah, I was gonna get there. <laughs> and you're right, Alex. So this is why I was so pissed because it's like, okay. So what happens now? Well, he, oh, before that, right? He gets attacked. They do show that uh, there's a there's a reptile uh, from Mortal Kombat who can blend into the walls. I guess um, is hunting him in the cave. Yeah, this fight is where I thought they were trying to cheap out because mm -hmm. they're like, all right, we're gonna show you the fight, but in the I scan saw that too. Yeah, <laughs> in yeah. The scanner. His little binoculars like, oh, fall. Here's the fight, and they show the fight in the CGI. It's it's like, shut like, the it's not even. That. It's not no good CGI. No. No. It's not good exactly. CGI on the normal one. It's not good CGI on this one. <laughs> they rather save money. It's like, oh, look at the fight. I don't want to see that. It's bullshit. Yeah, so. it was dumb. Like all these little artistic choices. Every time he did like one cool little artistic choice, it was dumb. Because when he's first walking out in in the wilderness, he looks down and he picks up a tooth, and it's like, wow, it's a big tooth, right? But the fucking camera pans to do something cool visually, and it shows a giant skeleton. So he didn't even notice the fucking giant skeleton one foot in front of his fucking face. He was like, whoa, this is interesting. And there's a big old fucking <laughs> stupid director and fucking terrible. I don't know what, what happened. So they get in that. He gets into a fight while the little girl panics, and she runs away. And... So he's in this fight with this dinosaur, and how does he kill the dinosaur? He hits the sonic screech button on his binocular thing, oh, yeah. and then it... Or it, I think it's the light that affects the dinosaur. It, no, it makes a really the, light the and loud noise, and it noise. starts freaking out, and okay. so he gets away long enough, and his gun is infinitely powerful, so one shot instantly kills it. Right. And uh, While this happens, the little girl is wanting to save him, and yeah. do uh, he? she hears this commotion going on, so she runs out into the forest, and there just so happens to be a trap set up it looks like a trap. I guess it's not a trap. There's a log, and there's a hole in the log, and there's one perfect little tooth set right here. Not too high, not too low, that it looks like it could coop. And so I'm like, oh, man, we're about to get interesting now. This is where now. she finds the thing, though. Right. Yeah. The, the thing is, like, we're about to get interesting now. There's already a civilization here, and there's, a, I don't know, something interesting. But no, it's just a randomly placed tooth. Yeah. Thing I thought it was like a thorn. A thorn. I thought it was a thorn it didn't, a It was what? So then she takes this, and then she gets her little berries. It's poison. And, and, right, because she said, tummy, if it goes in your if it goes in your tummy, it goes bleh. So she's going to stab a dinosaur and give it diarrhea. And she's like, she right. thought it was poison. It's like, no, that kind I'm of like, poison. This is not the way it works. So it's your stomach juices and your intestines and stuff. That and then you'll get a tummy with... ache. It's not... It, it it's didn't it's do not anything. like perfect poison that if you <laughs> exactly. stab something with it instantly dies. That's not how it works. The, do the dinosaur was more messed up because he stuck a fucking needle in his eye. <laughs> right. It wasn't. Uh, oh the no! Berry is that juice. the berries? <laughs> it's the berries that's getting to me, not the fucking needle. 
I'm like, God. All Doesn't right. Doesn't make any sense. You're right, Joe. And then, so she puts it in her backpack, and then he comes out the other end, um, or he's running. Uh, what ha- and and he, something happens to her, but he actually a big fucking doofus runs into. Well, she's getting chased by a tiny okay, little little thing, and yeah. she uses every single grenade oh. at the same time uh, right. to blow. <laughs> up. Oh yeah, right at the log. Yeah. So she the little thing notices that she's hiding in the log. So she it comes in and then she exits. Crushes the first entrance, and then it tries to exit, and then she runs over there, crushes the, the, the other entrance, and then, instead of taking one bomb and putting it in there, she dumps the whole fucking thing in. Yeah, and should have vaporized herself, but she's fine. The and dinosaur's she, Yeah, dead. and she's like, what, two feet away? Yeah, yeah she's <laughs> totally fine. And it blows up, and of course she wastes all the goddamn grenades because the plot says, well, in the final battle we're going to have three T-Rexes, and we can't have too many fucking grenades lying around, otherwise the battle's instantly over. Do you see the writing? When you see the writing like this and you see that, it's, it, it just sucks. Yeah. Adam Driver falls into quicksand, which, uh, and he's slowly dying because uh, you know, he's drowning in quicksand, even though I think that they, that they proved that you can't, you can't sink past like your chest in quicksand or something. Really? Um, I haven't but, seen that. Yeah, but, but it's stupid. It's the last game. moment. What happens? She, See, she jumps on a tree branch and gives it to him, and he's able to pull himself out. And it and just it. so happens that there's a tree branch next to the uh, quicksand, and it just so happens that the branch is long enough, and it just so happens that the branch is strong enough to pull him up, and it just it so happens cool that he ran into <laughs> Yeah. Um, so she saves him. Now, what do we do from here? We get to the location that they were... Uh, getting out the whole time and he essentially lied to her he told her that her family was up here and she's thinking oh the escape pods are there uh with my family inside it with the shuttle i could take my family we can go it turns out she notices that the (laughs) escape pods are all destroyed while he goes into the ship this fucking eviscerated ship it is crackling and destroyed in so many sections he presses a button the ship goes all systems nominal, all systems functional. The distress signal that you sent earlier from the other broken part of the ship has been received. And here is your rendezvous point. Um, not on the planet, just in a, I don't know. Just go out there. We'll bunch catch of you. light years away from the planet. We'll catch you. We'll, get you. <laughs> <laughs> like we'll do a little hook system. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, oh, and then also escape pod, uh, you know, operational. Yeah, and here's also where we're supposed to have like a good like uh, emotional moment. Mm-hmm. Cause she's like family, family, looking around. Family, and right. she's like, yeah, she's hitting she's all destroyed. She's like, uh. We know the Earth is about to be destroyed. Then he shows Adam her. Driver knows the Earth is about to be destroyed, and I don't mean like tomorrow. I mean now. The Earth is in about like you can see it in yeah. the fucking sky. It's the size of Texas. It's the Earth is about to be destroyed, and this stupid motherfucker lets this girl go. I'm mad at you, and there's no there's supposed to be tension there, but it's not because it's fucking stupid. The character is fucking stupid. The person in the writing room writing it down in a fucking crayon, crayon is fucking English, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no reason for it. Yeah, and the ship de- oh, uh, the ship detects it. It says, because it couldn't detect it before. The other half of the ship couldn't detect it. It says this is space anomaly. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, maybe time travel. So this is going to be interesting. There's going to be some kind of cool twist. Nothing. It is literally the most fucking vanilla contrived shit the whole way through. It's get to the escape shuttle. You get to the escape shuttle, you're fine. And you bond with a little girl because your little girl died. That's it. So finally, uh, they, they're done crying. He shows her uh, an image of his daughter, and she goes, okay, you have lost, I have lost, we're, we go now. Uh, so they get into the escape shuttle, uh, but unfortunately, uh, just then, uh, some fucking asteroids start to come down. And it just so happens that the asteroid slams into the ship twice. in a way, uh, and twice, probably three times, and blows it up, blows this part up, blows that part up. But somehow the escape shuttle is completely intact. You know how sensitive shit System is? System repairing. To fly in space. System repairing, all right? Joe, you <laughs> shut the fuck. Technology recharge. <laughs> That's what it was. They, it was. You hear this voice in the background. It repairs, initiate. What the fuck? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's like, <laughs> so are there what? nanobots? Were there robots that we didn't see that came outside? Little Star Wars droids, little pit droids? And no. Bible it just freak. says that line. That is so weak. Uh, all right. So finally, 
Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it gets asteroid, oriented the, the in a way. The gets hit, so they kind of slide down the little cliff. They're like, okay, we need to fix this. And the side view. Oh, not only does it explode, but it's also hitting all these rocks yeah, on the way and, down. And then it lands, but then you see T Rex coming and starts messing with it. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, so they're they're upside down. He she wakes up first. She tries to get him up. There's a proximity sensor going off. No, the launch sequence cannot go off because you're oriented down mm-hmm. instead of up. And then that's when the T Rex shows up. The T Rex fixes it, so now it's oriented. You're jumping ahead, Joe. Let's go a little slower. So one T Rex shows up. Yeah, I know, Joe. But this is the breakdown. So let's tell us more about it. He slashes the ship. A new gun appears. I think it's a new gun because I pretty he lost the gun. Joe, tell him it's not a new gun. He he came out of quicksand with literally nothing. Actually, he came out of quicksand. Oh, in the quicksand, he lost the gun. Everything. Yeah, this is a new gun because he's in a brand new ship. There are guns in that part of the ship. Alex is right. And so he shows up, and the there's a new gun on the ground, and they're like, "Oh my god, it's a new gun." And then the T-Rex shows up, and he runs outside of the ship because he's going to sacrifice himself to save her. Launch! Launch! He keeps telling her to launch. He picks up the gun, and he he puts his thumb to have it charge up, and then it won't do it. So he's got to do some, like, Judge Dredd shit where he's, like, switching ammo types. And then he (laughs) he pulls up instant T-Rex kill mode, and the T-Rex shows his face, and he shoots it, and expects to be a... I expected a firefight. This thing just fucking falls over and dies. One bullet. And I was like, holy shit! His his ankle, just like his bone, just shattered. Well, that was the second T-Rex, because another T-Rex shows up and starts chasing him. He shoots that one, like, 90 times. So apparently he ran out of T-Rex, anti-T-Rex, anti-T-Rex, anti-T-Rex yeah. And then a different dinosaur, a third dinosaur it's shows up. One. Not a T-Rex, but the original one that fought him in the waterfall. Um, <sighs> and the little girl, uh, this is the dumbest part. Okay, so then he runs because he's like, fuck, I'm out of ammo. Uh, this, this thing is chasing me. So he runs, and I guess he runs so fast, he runs across three topographies. And he finally gets back I, to the. I find yes, that hard to believe. I find that it hard has, to believe. It has too. to be a different. It just well, so it's happens. Running four on four. He's healthy. Right. Chasing this guy Chasing who's the guy. fucking broken. He runs him. across three topographies. He broke his leg. Broke his <laughs> leg. Hopping. Broke his arm. Broke. Uh, is stabbed in the thing. <laughs> running faster than a dinosaur. Runs all the way to Yellowstone Park. Yes. <laughs> and then, because he saw this when he first landed, there's a there's a fucking geyser. geyser. And he le- he the geyser doesn't explode when he jumps over it, but just so happens that the geyser explodes when the dinosaur goes over. It's like oh my god, there's so many just so happens. But he's fine. The dinosaur's fine this time. Like not a, not a and speck. And the dinosaur of... smiles. He's at like, him. Uh, this is just hot water, bro. This felt great. I don't get. Uh, <laughs> Did I miss something? On that? No, it, it, it does burn him, Joe. It shows that it burns him after. Yeah, but it's then not, not as much as the second the time. The second time, it obliterated him. Right. This yeah. is, again, yet another. That's what I'm saying. Like, the guys are the first plot one hole did contrivance. Yeah. The first one, he's like, smiles. It was he's, exactly. like, he's like, I, am, I, I like hot water. And the second time, it's like, I'm melting. His, so yeah. the, it hits him first, and he's like, fuck, now I'm really dead. And that's when the little girl shows up, Game of Thrones, fucking Night King style, out of nowhere. She just instantly flies in as if she has a jetpack. She's that tall now that she, she can 30 feet, 30 feet the in the air and slams it into I the dinosaur. It. God damn it, Joe, what do you got? It was the berry juice with the hot water that caused a chemical reaction to make him melt. <laughs> that's what it was. You're right, Joe, because <laughs> when they show the dinosaur falling, the CGI effect on his... Goop is so weird looking yeah, yeah. that it had to be berry juice mixed with hot gases. I agree. That's yeah. the only reason because the it. first time it happened, nothing. Right. Add some chemical, add some berry Without juice. Without the berry juice, <laughs> it would have just been a second hot bath. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got it. So we fixed the movie. The first time he sees a geyser, it's 15 kilometers away where he first crash lands. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second time he sees the geyser, it's 100 yards away from. The, the the other ship. So there just happens to be the exact same guys there. Just, yeah, ha- they're, just they're so just, happens to but be. But yeah, it's like I don't know how like they fold space and time to <laughs> Right. I, I and know. and when your characters are just like reacting to your writing plot devices, it's not fun. Yeah. When your characters are are planning ahead, building stuff that will help them, setting a trap, and then the dinosaurs are much smarter than you thought they were, and then and then you have to improvise. Mm-hmm. That is exactly. far more interesting than it just so happens that this, ha- and then it just so happens, and then just then, <laughs> and then right at the last moment, it's lazy. 
And when you're a critic, you notice these kinds of things. If you go once to the movies once a month and you're just looking to be entertained, then it doesn't bother you that much. Even audiences but when aren't liking But so even audiences like aren't liking this one, and they see trend. this. They see it. Um, so that's what I, Okay, so then that dinosaur is killed, and then they get to go home. And the next scene is uh, them flying, and they're, they fly off the planet. At the same time, the asteroid slams into the Earth. Uh, probably the, uh, one cool explosion. I like the explosion. And uh, the theater was like, boom, 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 rumbling. And I'm like, okay, that would be cool. And then uh, they fly off. They, you don't get to see them rescue. They just go into space. And they, like a, they will go off into space. And then the fucking direct two directors come up, and you're like, "You sons of bitches!" <laughs> That's it. Uh, it. It does fade into showing the planet surface after, I guess, the devastation of the asteroid, and slowly, uh, it's. I went down to uh, you know, um, pay for my tab, and then I looked up, and all of a sudden, there's a goddamn skyscraper. <laughs> On the sur planet surface, like Alex, is this confirmation that this wasn't Earth at all? You know, the whole time, and they were on a different alien planet. But it, I, I think you just said that it was a time lapse. Yeah. So they showed it to you. Right? The did dead, it, there was did a it dead fade in, or did it build up with it, like cranes and? Shit? There was different. No, because that one faded in. There was a T Rex on fire, and then the T Rex skeleton, and then the T Rex disappeared, and then there was an ice age, okay. and then like. You know, the grasslands were formed, and then they built the city there, and it's like, oh, very, very fun. Thank yeah, you. so it, it is Earth. Yeah. Well, you told Earth. us that in the first five minutes of the film, but on Battle the title the screen. And then, uh, and, you know, I thought that there would be at least some kind of 100% uh, played out spoken payoff because the film has treated you uh, so stupidly the whole time that she would turn around or he would hold her hand or something. I think they do hold yeah, hands. They do. But I would uh, I expected her to be like family, you know, or something like that. And so now, because she's always, when she's drawing, she's always drawing two figures. And you think, oh, it's him and her at the end. No. Hey, family going into nothing. space. It's fast and hold it, zero. And he's flying, and then that's it. it. We don't see his wife again. You don't get a scene where she. <laughs> you just assume. She, he brings a little girl with her to his house. This is my daughter's replacement. I now. stole this child. I stole from this Earth. Child. Yeah. No. So, or a different planet. We don't actually know where she's from because it feels sure. like. Uh, anyways, uh, so that's it. I I kind of glad that we went through it piece by piece and all the stupid uh, plot points. There's more. We skipped over some stuff, but uh, I did this so that you don't have to. Okay. Guys, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see. Is there anything else? Um, no. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. Should have been cooler. It should have been cooler. Yeah. Been cooler. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this one. We will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. <laughs>